The terminology used in CT is very different to the terminology used in diagnostic radiography. Much of this can be attributed to the works of Dr. Gottfried Hounsfield and Dr. Alan Cormack, who shared the Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology for their work in the invention and development of the CT scanner. Let's discuss some of these terms. After completing this module, you will be able to define terminology reviewed in the module, list the different types of pitches, and explain how collimation affects image quality and patient dose. We will begin by talking about targeting. Targeting is a magnification technique done through reformatting. The reformatting process reconstructs image data in a smaller pixel size to produce magnification with less distortion. This is done for areas where the fine detail is needed, such as in the inner ear. Here you can see the magnified fracture in the lumbar spine. Pitch is defined as the table distance traveled from one 360 gantry rotation divided by the beam collimation. Pitch plays an important role in image quality as well as in patient dose. Let's look at how. This animation describes the three types of pitch contiguous, interleaved, and interspaced. Let's talk about what pitch does to image quality. As shown in this slide, higher pitch reduces image quality and patient dose, while lower pitch increases image quality but increases patient dose. For example, the image quality for a pitch of 0.5 is improved, but the patient dose is abnormally increased. When we increase the rotation speed of the detectors, acquisition time is reduced, but the image becomes noisier. This is due to the system's inability to correct the maximum information per second. The gantry is a mounted framework that surrounds the patient. The gantry houses the x-ray tube, the x-ray generator, the detector systems, collimators, and the rotational frame, all of which are considered the imaging components. Two important features of the gantry are the gantry tilting range and the gantry aperture. The gantry can be tilted plus or minus 30 degrees. Most scanners have a 70 centimeter aperture. The table slides into and out of the gantry during a CT examination. Also known as filtered back projection, the projection profile is filtered or convolved to remove the typical blurring of the simple back projection technique. Applying a filter function 
to an attenuation profile is called convolution. Filter functions may be referred to as algorithms, convolution filters, or kernels. Filter functions can only be applied to raw data. Convolution, a general purpose algorithm, is applied to the reformatted data by the array processor. During convolution, the convolution kernel, which is a group of pixels, moves across the image pixel by pixel and is used to compute the value of the corresponding output pixel. Then the back projection reconstruction algorithm reconstructs the image of the internal structures that are being scanned. Back projection is the actual process or reconstruction to produce the image. Back projection has two distinctive limitations, noise and streak artifacts. It is due to the combination of these restrictions and the advancement of computers that iterative algorithms have slowly replaced this method of imaging reconstruction. It is sometimes useful to modify the value of each pixel to enhance the image. This is done through a mathematical filtering process. A set of mathematical operations is placed over each pixel. The pixel value changes and then the operation moves to the next pixel. The total process in one of sliding the mask over all the pixel data and then displaying it as a modified image. Deconvolution is the process of returning the pixel values to their original level by a reverse process to convolution. The techniques available for segmentation of medical images are specific to application, image modality, and type of body part to be studied. Automatic segmentation of medical images is a difficult task as medical images are complex in nature and rarely have simple linear features. Further, the output of segmentation algorithm is affected by the following. Partial volume effect, intensity in homogeneity, presence of artifacts, and the closeness in gray level of the different soft tissues. Interpolation is a mathematical process used to smooth enlarge or average images that are being displayed with more pixels than that for which they were originally reconstructed. Since helical scanning occurs in a pattern that is at an angle to the perpendicular desired, interpolation is used to straighten up the section. This can be done through algorithms creating sections that are reconstruction of data and not additional radiation to the patient. In CT, collimation is equally important as it affects image quality and patient dose. The basic collimator scheme in CT includes adjustable prepatient and post-patient collimators along with pre-detector collimators. In general, collimation sections are carefully arranged to shape the beam. Now that you have reviewed some terminology, 
you are ready to apply it to the other modules. We hope you will continue with our next module, CT Units, to learn about the advances in each new generation of CT scanners. Prior to taking the examination, please reread the module objectives to verify that you have no additional qualities to review. Thank you.